Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Creality have just updated their slice of Creality print, so let's see if it's gotten any better. Okay, so I've been using Orca Slicer with my K1 Max due to the fact that Creality print, which comes as a recommendation to use with your K1 series printers, uh, just wouldn't slice larger objects. Um, so I managed to track down a Profile 4 Orca Slicer and I've been using that ever since. However, the latest version which is 4.3.7.6619 uh, was released on the 25th of September and it has greatly improved on what it used to be. So I just tried it this morning, um, printing out a large object that wouldn't print before but I've done this T-Rex skull, quite a large one, for a friend of mine. Um, so I printed it in this direction and it is 30, just I think it's 29.5 centimetres from bottom to bottom. So basically using up the full height of the K1 Max um, print bed. Um, and I used Creality Print to do it. Now don't get it confused with the Creality Slicer, it's a different slicer altogether. This is Creality Print. And the good thing about Creality Print is it is tuned to work on the K1 series printers. So from now on, since the fix the problems I were having, um, I'll be using Creality Print because the profiles and stuff are made to work better. And it did print really well. Okay, so if you have a look at the quality of some of the print. This has come straight off the printer, I've done nothing with it, except pull off some of the supports. Um, it was, I will say it's a little bit resource hungry, so you can't have a lot open on your computer while you're slicing. Um, but once again, it will also, if you don't want to um, go to the full version of Clipper and put Fluid and Mainsail on, which they've only just released uh, in the last month, um, it will connect up to your printer so you can print across the, the cloud or you, no, the network. I don't go through the cloud. You can print across your network straight to your printer. So a few of the things, I'll just get into it now. So a few of the things that they have changed. We go down. Um, the important ones for me anyway, or for most people, a lot of them are just cosmetic and, and being able to rename files and all that sort of stuff. But down here on this one, it's added a profile for the K, um, CR10SE and the V3KE, which have just been released by Creality. They've also done um, a lot of other profiles for printers using the Sonic Pad, so using Clipper through their old style printers. Um, then they've done a few other things. Um, they've done different um, fill patterns, uh, corrected a few things. Here they've just optimized the temperature and flow previews, so that's not much, but we come down here. Number three is important. Improve the performance of importing and slicing large 3D models. So that's the main thing it was having problems with before. That has been fixed. And it will, it, I would say it's probably working as good as um, Orca Slicer. I always use tree supports now because I find tree supports so much easier to get off. Um, even on my large prints and my helmets and all sorts of stuff, I don't use the, straight, the old style ones. It just uses up too much filament and sticks to the uh, model too much. So I use tree support and I use the slim tree support when I do it. And this this is what wasn't working in the older version. So they've done that. They've improved the speed and the success rate of generating tree support. So those two are my main ones why, why I'm happy that this has been done. Um, Optimized for a bigger print, uh, better print quality and uh, uh, of articulated models. So they're the ones where you've got the print in place and you've got a joint in them. So it, it uh, looks after them a bit better. I don't use supports on them though, but it does, it does say it's got the quality a bit better. A few other quality improvements. Um, GCO previews, caching stuff. So none of this is anything but cosmetic type stuff after that. So I did the bug fixes. Known issues leading to software freezes and crashes while slicing. So that is what was happening with the bigger prints. So they have fixed that. So that's that's a good thing, yeah? Um, so that's the main thing that I found to be um, what's good about this. Um, 
all the rest of like cosmetic type stuff. Uh, compatibility is win Windows 11. I've never had a problem with that. I've got a 4K display on my Windows 11 laptop and it works fine. So I'm not sure other people must have been having an issue there, but I haven't had an issue with it. Cool. So there are all the changes that they've done. What I will do, guys, is I'll leave a link in the description to be able to um, download that update of where it is um, and go and give it a try. It's If you've got a K1 or a K1 Max and are using a different slicer, even if you're using Cura, I would suggest changing to um, Creality Print for those printers. Um, it just It's working good now. So before I was recommending Orca, but they fixed the problem. So anyway, guys, um, I will be having my... Uh, Bamboo Labs A1 coming next week. Um, it's in on its way from the other side of the country. So fingers crossed it will get here on Tuesday or Wednesday. And I'll have a video out straight after that. I uh, also got, like I said in my last video, I've got a uh, Ender 3 V3 KE coming and a um, laser engraver coming, which I will also be doing a video on. So if you don't want to miss out on any of that, hit the subscribe button and if you like this video give us a thumbs up and i'll see you next week okay guys see you later bye okay guys thanks for watching i really do appreciate your support you might like one of these or one of these videos um that i've made in the past so feel free <laughs> okay thanks guys bye